Hello everyone and welcome to a video on an automatic bee breeding cell. So let me just quickly change this to a chest. So that's where the arbitrum would be. But because to speed up the process I'm just gonna put your drops that you would get in here anyway. So that looks like a normal mixing of the set. Oh yeah, and something to cover as well. This only works for bees that are the same breed. So yeah, sorry, but I haven't quite discovered one that would work for um, breeding different things because it's it's all random. It's all random. Well, this might actually work now I think of it, but to be safe, just use it for this. But you can try it yourself if you want to. But for now, I'm just going to use this. So that would be a normal, a normal harvest of just doing a simple bee breed, and everything gets split up. Wax into here, drones into there, and princess will come back round because you'll get one princess and only one princess uh, from the harvest. And there is your arbitrum. So, this is what happens your drones go in there because you get like three to two to four to how many drones, uh, but you will only get one princess. And then the princess will come back in this apiary and it will go in the apiary and it will send off a redstone pulse and that redstone pulse it will just be one just the one redstone pulse will go and set off that to redstone engine which will pump one drone from the chest below iron gate to make sure it doesn't go uh, iron pipe sorry to make sure it doesn't go that way or this way or anyway it will go straight up into here waiting to mate with the princess B will come around, and as soon as it gets into here, bam, redstone signal off, and it's ready again, it will start breeding, and obviously you can have flowers around and all that, and bees will breed. So let's get to it. So obviously your first step is going to be placing the apiary, or however you want to pronounce it, <laughs> I just prefer calling it apiary because I can say it, and dig out a... 7 by 7 area around it. Once you've done that, you're going to want to go 4 blocks down. After you've done that, you should end up with a pit that looks like this. And now, first steps are to get a wooden pipe, some cobblestone pipes, well, some wooden pipes as well, a diamond pipe, and an iron pipe. And that will be placed in the pattern like this, so wooden first, then right into a diamond, into a cobblestone one, and then into a chest here. Now the reason why you can't just have it into a chest is because sometimes the drone will pop out and you never really want that. Then you want your second, these can be any chests, any chest you want, diamond chest, copper chest, you know, you know how it goes. And then, oh sorry, uh, like that, and then hooks around and back into the aprium like that. So you should have it looking like that. Then the next set of pipes will be a wooden one there and there. I would recommend not using gold pipes because it could be inconsistent and when that signal goes off drones might not have reached the bottom chest so stay away from gold pipes because they make things very very inconsistent and it will make it difficult for you and the bees, poor bees, think of the bees right so now you got your redstone engines you place one there and you place one there just like so, this is always going to be powered and you can power it in whatever way you want I'm just going to use a lever and flick that guy on like that so that is always going to be pumping things out of the at the bottom of the apron now the things you want to do with this diamond pipe is first of all get your honey honeycomb then get a drone any drone let's just use a modest drone for now because I like I like the modest ones for some reason then a princess let's use a modest one and here you go so going down the bottom bottom is always black no matter what way you're facing so in the black bit uh, you will put your drone and when you put it in, it's really quite clever because it just says drone. It doesn't say the specific type of bee. So you can just have 
that drone will represent every bee. And then in my case, it'll be the blue one, but in your case, it could be different. So just make sure the one that goes to the right, or, or the one that doesn't go into this chest on your left here, is the princess. Make sure of that. And it does the same there, it just says princess. Don't have to put every species in. And then going into this chest, uh, well, it doesn't have to be a chest, you can just have a pipe going off to your lab, your center base of your honeycomb, wink wink, you know who I'm directing at. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, you can just have a pipe going off into that way. So you want to put your wax, or your honeycomb, sorry, in there. Nice, so that is the diamond pipe sorted. Now this iron pipe, to change it around you need to get a crowbar. Not scarecrow, that won't do anything. And so it's like that. Iron pipes work as these, these uh, non, non, these non-transparent. Is that the right terminology? I don't think so. But yeah, the the things that you can't see through are facing towards the diamond pipe and towards the drone chest. And the thing and the bit of the iron pipe that you can see through is heading towards the aprium because that's where things can pass through. If you don't know the logic of iron, uh, of iron pipes, then you do now. So that is pretty much the piping. Now it gets to the redstone part. Now the first thing you need is an ore gate. Uh, iron ore gate, diamond ore gate, but you, whatever type of ore gate. You, but for now, iron ore gate will do, and it's cheaper. So, and then you just right click on this pipe, the one to the right of the atrium or whatever way, for me it's right, but you just right click and then it will do that. Get that off the butt. Now this is brilliant technology in Feed the Beast. You right click on it and you come up with this. Now you might look confused because it's got a load of weird stuff. But the one we're going to want on is a missing drone. So that will know that if the thing next to it, so in this case it's the apiary, is missing a drone from this space, you can either have nothing happen, so there's no point of having it, or you can send a redstone signal, and that's the that's what you're going to want. You don't need this bottom bit. And with the gold ore gate and the diamond ore gate, that will add on another signal bit. But we don't need that. We're, we're fine with just the one. We can, we can have a cobblestone ore gate, whatever, but you can't make that. Iron's overkill for this, but it's the lowest one, so you're going to have to make it. So the redstone signal will come like that. And now, you're going to want, in this little gap here, place a buck. Now this will be part of your ground, unless you've got this floating, but yeah, you're going to need flowers around it, so this should be part of your ground. And you're going to put a redstone torch on the side of that, like that. And then, two below the redstone torch, so, like, so you should have it looking like this, is going to go redstone. So now that you've done that, place your redstone torch there. If you've done that right, then it should be inverted. And then two redstone torch directly under that torch. Uh, redstone wire under that torch. And going, make sure it goes to the left. Or in, in your case, to the direction of this chest. All right, not towards the wall, to the towards the open bit. Now we're going to go into something called a pulse. Uh, no, not a pulse then. That's coming up next. A monostable circuit. Very simple piece of technology. Very simple. One, re uh, two redstone repeaters, both set to four, and a redstone torch here, and wire going around the back like so, and then here. Now you don't need this button here, but I'm just gonna put a button here to demonstrate. So that will be monostable and it will put out a short pulse. As you can see it turned off before the button did. Alright, good. So that is sorted. That is done. Now comes the difficult bit. Well, it's not difficult at all. I lie. I lie. Um, yeah, to get it even, have it like this. Trust me. Have two there. If you have it like that, then it will mess up so you need something to break it off and the simplest thing there is repeat you probably could use something else but that is the most simplest thing and then you run this along like that like so yep you see and then into the block like that 
and every one block you want to break it out like so except for this last one you don't need that one to be there and in those gaps you will put redstone repeaters all on four okay so I'm going to demonstrate what this will do this is called a pulse lengthener let's put the button back and it's turned this pulse into a super duper long pulse and now that would pump that there's nothing in this chest at the moment so that would pump that and the reason why you need this pulse lengthener is because there's a thing with redstone engines and it is if you were to have let me get a redstone torch I'll demonstrate let's not get rid of these if you were to have the just the normal pulse length uh, the modern stable circuit it would be like that and yeah sure it would go but in order for a redstone engine to be pumping things out when it gets to this point there it still needs to be powered or it will not pump it out and I discovered that the hard way while making that um, and the, and then the difficult bit is getting the pulse length in the right to make it so it doesn't pump out twice so it needs to stop in that gap or it's going to carry on pumping two out and fill that bottom bit up which you do not want because then everything will go pow well it won't explode but it will overflow so you don't want that and then believe it or not that is it very simple then you can fill your ground in this is what it would look like if it's fill in you filled in you wouldn't notice it except for two holes in the ground so let's just fill it in and I mean yeah this could even be changed if you really want so it doesn't come out on the ground so that's still pumping like that let's get this back oh yeah well there'll be three holes that you won't be able to use for grass and plants for your bees and that is them three and that is an automatic bee breeder thank you for watching and if you do use this in your let's play or whatever you're doing just give me a little mention you know <laughs> don't want to be stealing stuff no one likes a thief um, but yeah oh my lord I banged the table yeah, thank you for watching and I will hopefully see you next time.